Well, I think she's as finished as she's going to get. Um, like I said, I was trying something new and different. This isn't something I would normally paint. And I was attempting a process that I was unsure of. And while it definitely is nowhere near what Wendy's photo looks like, because she took a phenomenal photograph of leaves in a pond in Washington that I based this off of, but it's not horrible and I kind of like it. It's a 24 by 24, so yeah, two foot by two foot. And I'm now going to take the video in just a little closer so you can see some of the under colors and how they kind of come through. Like you can see the oranges in the backgrounds and some of the greens from behind. Some of those rich tones um, really came out once I put the gloss sealer over it. You can see the, the colors that we had in that base that I threw down in that first video, kind of coming through. Some of the areas, to me, the white seems a little heavy, but if you look at the actual photo, um, oh, here, there it is. The whites are actually way heavier than even I made them. And maybe that's what I need to start doing is not fear going heavy. I kind of get really intimidated um, by going too heavy with colors. But for a first attempt of trying to do water rings over some leaves in a pond, uh, I'll give myself mm, a B minus. <laughs> But anyway, um, thank you, Wendy, again for the photo. Thank you for those who have watched the development of this piece as it came along. And even though I didn't give it an A, it's still going on my website and will be for sale. Um, I will include the link to my website on this post, but it is www.jenniferscott-artist.com. Or if you're searching, uh, you can put in Jennifer Scott created and it should come up. And again, Wendy, thank you for giving me an inspiration to try something new. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.